I first got into boxing, I met a guy called Prince Nassim Hamed at the local mosque. And I said to him, I want to be a champion. He said, if you want to be a champion like me, go to this gym, look for, look for a guy called Brendan Ingle, the Ingle gym. And um, I went looking and the rest is history. Uh, most influential characters in my career, I'd say there was a few uh, people like Brendan Ingle, you know, always kept me on the, the straight and narrow path, you know, kept me out of trouble, you know, through my uh, troubled teens. Uh, Dominic Ingle, who's always helped me, you know, there's a, there's a few people, my grandparents, you know, always kept me on the narrow path. Um, you know, the kids in the gym, who, you know, made sure, you know, I was always training, so there's, there's loads of people. Um, the Ingle Gym and the community it means a lot, you know, it's like a family. You know, I spend more time in this gym and around this community than I do with my own uh, family and, and my own community. Every fight, I enjoy every fight. Every fight's different, you know, you learn something new in every single fight, you know. Uh, don't matter who you fight, you know, don't matter how good the opponent is, you always learn something new. What's next up for me is I'm fighting on the 15th of June against a kid called Josh Warrington from Leeds for the IBF world title uh, at Leeds Arena. So that's what's in line for me next. You know, um, everything else doesn't matter. You know, 15th of June, I've got, got to get this job done and that's all that counts. The biggest struggle I face in boxing. Uh, the, you know, I don't know, I think more than anything it could be the bo probably boxing politics. My ultimate long time goal is to be a three weight world champion, make plenty of money and retire on top. My advice for someone who is going to get into boxing would be make sure you live the life and be disciplined because in this game you can't take shortcuts.